Oh, yeah, we <laughs> My shirt's fine. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Everyday Drifty Living Cast. And what do you see? It's always looking right here next to me. Hi. New phone, who did? New phone, who did? And if you're new to our Instagram, hit the subscribe button. Check out our, check out, I'm supposed to say check out our playlist. Uh, hit the bell so you're notified every time we upload a video. And today, it's the uh, Universal Yum. Say hello. Hello. Universal Yums. This is a suffocating <laughs> monthly uh, food subscription. Uh, it's sixteen dollars a month, and this is the June box that we're doing in July. We're always a month behind for some reason. Might have had something to do with the fact, you know, root canal, and she's been having some tooth issues also, and it's just been a lot of stuff. So I'm okay. So she good. I'm good. Ish. And so this. I, I don't have thousands of dollars to spend, so I have to just deal. With oh, it. like I did. No, I did. <laughs> You and I did. Yeah. Okay, so this is the base one. This is the small one. This is $16 a month. And you get about five to seven snacks. There we go. And the country is South Korea. Don't start singing. I want to live in Korea. The name sounds like... Okay, so here we go. So we have the snacks. We have the pamphlets and everything, and here we go. She, I don't think she's seen it yet. Have you seen it yet? Look yeah. at all the puffy snacks we got. Oh, we got some good ones. Okay. Oh, churros, crunchy potatoes, best sweet and sour gum. Oh, God, gum. All right. Let's go with the first one. What's the first one? I don't know. What's the first one? Show it. Oh, I don't know. Let's go with pepero. So we have this one, which is the Crunchy Papero. This is Korea's number one brand, Crunky. Crikey. Crunky. These are the, um, November 11th is Papero Day. This is a special holiday. It's similar oh, it's like one of those big leaves. <gasps> okay, so there it is. Oh, this is what, what is this stuff that I get sometimes? The Pockies. Pockies, yeah. So this is something that... Families give to each other on November 11. I like that. Mm, that's good. <laughs> it's pretty it's cheap to give this to your family member. It's like a pocky day for them. It's like a Valentine's Day, see? It's alright. Some point to a 1983 news story about a group of high school girls who exchanged paperos in hope that they become slim and tall like the sticks. Others think the holiday was created because a stick of apparel resembles the number one, which is fitting for 11 11. The, a popular, the holiday is so popular that it accounts for 50% of annual apparel sales. Those the are really peril. good. I love those. Those are really good. I want them. Now we're going to try the churro, which is weird because in Spanish, there's also churro soup. Cinnamon sugar churros. These are, they exploded on the street. What is that piece of cinnamon? Um, there's a street, there's an chains, apparently called Street Churros and Churro 101. There's a whole bunch of ch churro shops in South Korea. It's hugely popular churros. They're a street snack. I'm going to take a bite of that one. It's not that I like it. That actually pretty good. I don't like cinnamon. Cinnamon. It is a South Korean craze, these these churros. It's good. So far, this has been, this has been a better month. Churros. Than All last right. month. Which was now turkey. we're going to try Lot Lot. Lot Lot. These are Korean strawberry gummies. Taste and looks fresh from the garden. Yeah, right. Welcome to Lot World, a huge recreation complex in Seoul that includes the world's largest indoor theme. What is that? That's what they look like. World's largest indoor theme park and outdoor water park set yeah, on a no. man-made island. Oh, wow. You can smell strawberry. It has a fake smell to it. It's like shampoo. Do you ever accidentally get shampoo in your mouth when you're taking a shower? Yeah. It's not bad if you like gummy. I like gummies. It has a fakeness to it. I don't know why. There's a folk museum there. It's displaying 4,000 years of history in miniatures. 
and much, much more. Would you like to go to the miniature museum, huh? Miniature. What's next? Oh, a taco pie! This is Korea's iconic marshmallow pie, banana style. Mm. This is hugely popular. Apparently, they use a balloon or something. Oh, it's a lot of banana. Like a bunch in your face. She doesn't like cinnamon. I'm not the biggest fan of banana. Give this a dad. I love this. We'll go hog wild. If you like bananas, guys, mm -hmm. let's see. All right, now. It says here the North Korean leaders banned those chocolate pies out of fear of capitalism. <laughs> Do we need the history lesson too? No. Now we're gonna try the sweet and sour chewies. Oh no. Chewies. Love grapes. Yongdong is your paradise, located in South Korea's Chungong. Uh -huh. Yongdong. Yongdong? Yongdong. I I'm mispronouncing it. My apologies. Dong Hong Lo. <laughs> Where nearly 70% of Korea's grapes. Oh, that was disgusting, that banana. <laughs> grapes are grown, not to mention it's, whole, it's also home to Korea's famous grape festival. And, and don't forget the blue area. Okay, how much blue the... do they use here? Alright. There we go. Okay, so that's what they look like. Now, these are supposed to be sour. Oh, that's sour. You get to see how she reacts to sour stuff. Candy. <sighs> Any more left? There's things flying out of my face here. Oh, goodness me. I think we have like one thing left. Yes. I left the best for last. Korean fried chicken balls. Spicy. Americans brought fried chicken to South Korea in the 50s, but since the locals may have perfected it, Korean style sweet fried chicken. That gong jong, that gong jong, especially coated in a thin layer of batter and fried twice, resulting in a crispy, not too thick crust. And um, it's finger looking good or something. Let me try one. Cause you didn't, you didn't even give me one. The texture is nice. So there it is. What is it? The texture is nice. Eat it. It's familiar. <laughs> Just wait for it. Feel it yet? You feel the spiciness? Yeah. It's in the back of my throat. Huh. It's a little. It's, you know what? Wherever you ate it, it's just concentrated there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in my throat. It's in my tongue. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Overall, I think this is a better month than last month. And that's it. That's what we got, right? That's it? You don't want any soda, right? You're so mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. So does flat. You know, everything is flat for you. I'm going to flatten you out. And it's, it tastes like it has not been put in the fridge for a long time. Mm -hmm. All right, so which was your worst and which was your favorite? Uh, my worst, without a doubt, was the uh, uh, the chewy candy. That was sour. That was really sour. My favorite would have to be the fat these are absolutely uh, my amazing. My favorite would have to be between the preparo and I and I like the, the, the Oh, the she'll one. probably eat that tonight. You'll probably eat that tonight. <laughs> she give that to dad. She'll probably love it. So overall, I think South Korea was a a better month. What do you think? Guys, leave a comment below if you know uh, uh, what the name uh, Korea rhymes with. 
you saw Family Guy. It's the Candy Quahog Marshmallow episode. If you know that episode, then you know exactly what we're thinking of. <coughs> oh my All god. Right. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like. Give it a smash. Smash that like button. Smash it. It's like slap cam. I want you to smash it. Sugar. Everyone out there is having a great day. Have a great day. Have a great week or whatever they're out there. Stay safe. Okay, I, 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 stay safe and stay true. Have a great day. Have a great week. Love you guys. Bye, everybody.